In the upcoming weeks, you'll be receiving a new computer. Before you do so, you will have to remove any files that are on the hard drive of your old computer. There's a couple options for you. You can move them to a flash drive or an external hard drive, or you can move them to the V drive, which is a direct link to your OneDrive for Business. Your files will be safe up in the cloud as long as we ensure that they've been moved. In order to find the V drive, click the File Explorer, scroll down until you see SC OneDrive, and it should say V colon. Open it up. This is a direct link to your files that are saved on the OneDrive for Business. It might be a good idea to create new folders within your OneDrive. For instance, I could create a folder that says old files from, or let's just put it this way, files from old computer. That way we'd have, we at least know where these were from. If I open that folder, I'm still in the V drive, but I'm now in this files from old computer. Now I can simply take everything that is on the hard drive and move it over to that V drive. This may take some time, so it's something you're going to want to spread out over the next day or two, or maybe even a week or two. Files that are on the hard drive may include things on your desktop. These Word documents that I've just clicked on will not be saved unless they are saved in the V drive. You can click and drag over to the V drive and it will make a copy. Notice it will not delete the original file. Anything you want to save should be dragged over to this V drive. You can drag entire folders of documents. The more documents that are inside the folder, the longer it's going to take. Some other areas to check for that might be files contained on your hard drive may be in pictures, documents, downloads, and other areas. If you have questions as to where those might be found, it might not be a bad idea to ask. Go back to this V drive, click Files from Old Computer. I'm going to show you a technique to open up file folders and move them quickly over into, v, into the V drive. If I go up to Pictures, right click, and open in a new window, what I've done is opened up that pictures file in a separate window and now if I wanted to move a set of pictures to my V drive I can simply click and drag that entire folder. Again, the more things you select the longer it will take. Once you're confident that you've moved all of your files from the hard drive of the computer to the V drive or to a flash drive or an external hard drive, you are now ready to receive your new computer. If you have any questions, let me know. Thanks!